Hey guys, and here I'm measuring params for this deck. Uh, wow, I'm flat a little bit higher than I thought, it's 0 0.045. Uh, still, like, yeah, it's not possible to hear, but uh, probably I will discuss with owner if it's worth to replace Adler. And when after motor has been rebuilt, it's still like it's much, much better, but it's still like not pulling evenly. Okay. And I'm adjusted the like, uh, spring now. It's pinch roller uh, has a very good contact. So, but it's a little bit higher than I thought. I was thinking about 0 0.03. Okay, let's see on another deck what we will get and if we can change anything. And, and frequency a little bit on the higher end is 3004 gears. Uh, okay, at least we know. Next, let's check levels. So it's a Dolby tape. It should come to minus one decibel. And it's right there. Minus one, minus one here. Good. Next. Let's try calibration. Let's start today from the metal tape. Uh, Let's do automatic calibration for this tape. It works around 10-15 seconds. Okay, now we're ready to record. I will put minus 20 decibel, let's see. Okay. Well, left channel records like one decibel above, despite I tune it like on manual. Automatic calibration is sometimes a little bit off, but you see it keeps well 12, 15 kilogears, 18 kilogears, 20 kilogears. Very good results. Let's see what we can get here. It's white noise, very good response goes beyond 20 kilogears. Not fully equal on levels between left and right, but that's how calibration works. We might try without, like let's do reference and let's see reference levels. Uh, I want more of so calibration and just a little bit. Okay, good point to work more on this deck. Let me see different tape type. Let's do reference first. So reference you see a little bit elevated high frequencies, but levels are basically equal. Okay. Now, let's do automatic calibration for this tape. And it's basically the same. Okay. When I was hearing recordings on the headphones, I almost can hear difference. Maybe on type one tape a little bit, but metal and chrome was just fine. Okay. Same here, a little bit disbalance above 10 kilohertz. 
So I'm tuning it bias on 10 kilogears. So one and 10 kilogears would be the same levels. But you see the response a little bit different. Okay. And do calibration. And here, after calibration. Still, very good results for this age deck. I will probably work on it a little bit more. We'll see. Thank you. See you soon.